Organ donation is the act of removing an organ from a body in order to transplant it into someone else who has a medical need for it. This can be from a living patient to another, for example a parent donating a kidney to a child, but more commonly the organ is donated from a recently deceased body to a living person. There is a significant shortage of organs in the UK, especially as everyone has different tissue types. If the organ given to a recipient is not a match, then it can be rapidly rejected, causing organ failure and possibly death. For this reason, it is of the utmost importance to find as close a match as possible to the recipient for the transplant to be successful. The interviewers can take two approaches to this topic as it falls into two categories. Current issues within the NHS or ethics of organ transplantation. All questions can be asked in both an MMI and traditional interview format. Why is there a shortage of organs in the UK? What is meant by an opt-out system of organ donation as found in Wales? Is the opt-out system of organ donation ethical? Do you think that everyone should donate their organs after death? To what extent does the family of the deceased have a say over their donation choices? There are a limited number of organs available. How would you choose who to give the organs to? Can you name any country which has a live market for organs? As a hint, look at the Middle East. The classic example question involving organ donation is where you're presented with two people in different situations who both require the same organ. You have to decide who you think the organ should go to. For questions which look at the current affairs surrounding organ donation, it is important that you know the general rules about organ donation and systems of consent, as well as keeping an eye out for any news stories around this topic in the run-up to your interview. To answer ethical questions, once again, it is of the utmost importance to include the four principles of medical ethics in your answer. As mentioned in other articles, start with the four principles, justice, beneficence, non-maleficence, and autonomy. Go through each of these one by one in your head and decide if they are applicable. For organ donation related questions, all of these can be addressed and spoken about. Ensure that you lay out all of the arguments for both sides and use the four principles to structure your answer. These can be your four main points and you can base your arguments around them. To answer questions where you decide between two potential organ recipients, it is important that you speak in depth about each person's situation to show to the interviewer that you are methodical in your reasoning. Ultimately, the organ should go to the patient who has the closest tissue match, although in these scenarios, often both parties are an equal match. So in these cases, other factors need to be considered, such as if there are young children relying on one of the potential recipients. As long as the arguments are clearly structured and present both sides, then there is no right answer, and you can feel free to choose whichever side you feel deserves the organ the most. The issue of organ donation will only come up should an interviewer directly ask you about it. However, these are common questions, which are often used to test your knowledge of current affairs and decision making. If you are confident with these, they can prove your ability to weigh up different arguments and impress the interviewer with your methodical reasoning.